So what do we do now? Oh, can we scavenge for food? I need something in my system other than sugar. Yeah, allow me to escort you to the kitchen. Actually, wait, can I come with you? I have really specific snack requirements. Uh-uh, Taylor. No, you're coming with me. We'll fashion, like, blankets out of, like, curtains or something. No, shit. I'm on snack patrol right now. Okay, so I need your loudest voice to scare away all the murderers. <laughs> yeah, I'm team murderers. <laughs> okay, fine. No, I mean, as long as you're cool with, like, sleeping on, like, dusty polyester sheets. I hate you so <laughs> much. <laughs> Why do you need help with this? What do you need me for? All right, I think I know a place we could sleep. Uh, you want to come? I'm going to go with Cam and Sky, actually. I'll catch up with you later. Are you okay? I never should have gone to the boardwalk. This is not your fault, Conrad. There was no way you could have known what Julia was planning. Maybe, but she never would have done it if I'd stayed back. They fucking took everything. And you heard Sky. The house is gonna sell fast. No. No, it's not over. I mean... We're gonna figure something out. Sometimes I hate myself for how long it took me to notice it that invisible force between the two of them. I wanted to tell Conrad that he had no right, that he'd ignored Belly for all these years. But it wasn't just up to Conrad. It was Belly's choice too. So I forced myself to let it go. There were more important things to worry about then anyway. Well, what are you doing here? Don't you have class? Yeah, class got canceled. I thought I'd come see you and Mom. Did Mom get the full-size Snickers for Halloween? Mm-hmm. You think Mom's insurance is going to uh, accept a sandwich bag full of receipts? Because that's about all I got. I'm sure it'll be fine. If not, we'll figure something out. So how's, you know, senior year? It's fine, I guess. Mom said you got homecoming king. Yeah, I mean, the coronation was basically preordained since freshman year. Right. Yeah, so. You take a date? I went with Blake. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Are you seeing anyone? You and I never really talked about what happened with Belly. Jared, what happened last summer was up. I didn't even know that, that you two had kissed until after. I was just hoping that you could. What? Give you my blessing? I can't believe you came here like this. You know, just do what you want. You always do anyways. Jer, I want to be with her. And I, I really think that's what she wants, too. But she's afraid of hurting you, Jer. Oh, is that right? Yeah. It's tearing her up that you haven't responded to her text since last summer. Yeah, well, I've been busy. Jer, I don't want you to hate us. But I think about her all the time. And it hurts. It, like, my chest physically hurts to not be able to tell her that I'm in love with her. When your brother tells you something like that, there's only one right answer, even if it doesn't feel right at all. I'm not gonna be the one to keep you guys apart. So go for it. Thank you. Being around Belly this week has made me remember all over again. And my genius plan to stay pissed at her and keep her at arm's length is a failure. So I just keep telling myself over and over, it'll never be me. It's always going to be Conrad. Hey, Jared, wait up. Hey. I thought you were heading to the kitchen with Conrad. Oh, no, they have plenty of hands. <laughs> Besides, I'd rather roam with you. Yeah, I'm just going to the screen room. It's nothing special or anything. Sounds like an adventure to me. I mean, you never know what we'll find behind these doors. <laughs> it's a country club, not Narnia. And still, adventure is worthwhile in itself. <laughs>